Aloha and thank you for joining us today on this episode of Selling Hawaii with American Dream TV. Welcome to the American Dream TV. This is a show that goes across the nation to bring you the best of lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs. We have a great show lined up for you today, so we're gonna go ahead and get it started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. Aloha, I'm Erin Evans, the broker and owner of Century 21 Island Homes. We are here to honor and highlight the beauty and culture of the island. I got it. And I'm so thrilled to share bits and pieces of Hawaiian history, celebrate our local talents, and of course, feature incredible real estate here on Selling Hawaii. And thank you for joining us today on this episode of Selling Hawaii with American Dream TV. I'm Erin Evans, broker and owner of Century 21 Island Homes, and I'm so excited to be spending the day here up in Haleiwa. We are going swimming with the sharks with world-renowned shark conservationist, Ocean Ramsey herself. I can't be happier than I am right now, than I am right now. All right, we're heading out with One Ocean Diving now with Ocean Ramsey, and hopefully I don't become a snack. Welcome on board with One Ocean Diving. We're gonna go out and teach you guys all about sharks, biology, physiology, behavior, body language, and how that specifically relates to your safety, how to be respectful of them and their importance in the marine ecosystem. And we'll talk about conservation as well. Yeah, no, she kind of summed it up perfect. Just want people to get better connected to the ocean, kind of get over their fear of sharks so they can uh, get more involved in the ocean and uh, help uh, protect them and the ocean. And then you'll get to enjoy the beauty of sharks yes. and so a lot of that fear I hope with this information that we're about to share will uh, be replaced with a healthy level of respect for them as important apex predators. You ready to go? We're ready! Super excited! <laughs> awesome. So pelagic aspect means that we're going three miles offshore out into open ocean. I'm talking kind of fast because this is a lot of information. I'm also going to give you a recap on safety right before we get there. Please imagine that you're going to visit somebody else's ohana or family. When you walk into their hale or home, you greet them with eye contact and respect. Please greet the sharks. You are in their home. It's their ocean. We're going out to natural shark aggregation areas. So sandbars and Galapagos sharks are naturally found in these depth profiles. It's a deep water drop off. We're on the north shore and what happens is as these big swells hit these deep water ledges, those drop offs, it causes something called upwelling, which is micronutrients. And you get little fish, medium sized fish, bigger fish, the beautiful sharks, okay? So you guys get to see very much the ocean alive and all those nutrients within it. So please, Understand that the sharks, they will circle back around on the currents off of those ledges. You don't need to chase them down. Just wait for them to come back to the boat. Sharks are really important to the health of the ocean. They're like the doctors of the ocean. It's their space, it's their ocean. Have respect for them. Again, thicker skin, sharper teeth, and can out swim you. It would be intelligent to get out if they need their space back, okay?
thanks for joining us today, Asia. I hope you had some really great underwater footage. I can't wait to check it out. Thank you for having me. It yeah. was so nice to be back in the water and swimming with Kalihi, the tiger shark. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. So I've known Asia for over 10 years already, and you get to do some pretty fabulous things and travel the world with your company. So tell us a little bit more about Open Water Productions. Well, it's hard to believe that it's been 10 years since I've known you. And I have had this company since just a few years before that, so maybe 11, 12 years now. And doing water photography is my baby and my first love. I started my company doing land photography, as we like to call it. And then I had a good friend that worked on an ecotourism boat similar to what we did today that was moving to the mainland and he asked me if I would consider replacing him. And so that's how I got my start doing water photography, being on ecotourism boats, shooting with dolphins and turtles. And then from there it merged into what I do now, which is shooting for different brands and companies, working with crews, and just shooting a variety of, a variety of things. Can you share with us one of your craziest underwater experiences? Well, one of the most memorable ones for me, I was working off of a boat similar to the one we went on today, mm -hmm. and I was photographing dolphins on the west side of this island, mm -hmm. and they dropped me by myself so I could get some photographs in a giant pod of dolphins. And as I was swimming, they started making closer and closer circles around me. And this had never happened before, so I was a little bit surprised, like what is going on? And it started more and more, a big column of dolphins. And then finally, a mom dolphin came forward with a little baby dolphin about this big, um, started pushing him up to me and I was a little confused, like what is happening? And then I could see that the baby dolphin was a little bit sick, but she kept coming and pushing the baby dolphin up to me and all of the dolphins were swirling around in a protective column. And we know not to touch wildlife, to give them their space, keep a distance, and so I honestly was floored. I didn't know what to do. I kept pushing away, but it's something I'll never forget because it's that interaction and how intelligent these creatures are. And I'll never forget it. Wow, what a great story. I hope the baby dolphin's okay. <laughs>you i know you're very prevalent on instagram what's your handle well you can find me at asia brin a-s-i-a-b-r-y-n-n-e -N -N -E, and that's probably the easiest way to find me and you'll see some pretty amazing photos so or if you just jump in the ocean somewhere off this coast you might find me there too <laughs> cool well thanks so much for coming today thank you for having me erin yeah. this is a treat I sure hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as we had fun filming it. It was really great getting to know some of our local business owners here and hopefully you learned a little bit and until next time we will see you then. Aloha! We hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV. Make sure and follow us on social media and engage with us in the conversation. We love to hear from you. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we look forward to seeing you next time. But in the meantime, cheers to your American dream.